Hey guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Hey, behind me and beside me and on the other side of me, we've got some J&M 6026 applicators. Uh, 60 foot, these two are 2600 gallon. The one behind you here is an 1800 gallon. Uh, but what I'm really getting at is I wanna show you that all three of these units going to different places across the country the, cons the consistency is this triple threat uh, application system that's mounted on them. You've heard the videos and seen the videos of us talking about what these triple threats can do, and I think it's pretty dang handy uh, because we all know that, that sometimes, depending on the weather, putting fertilizer 15 inches away from the row uh, with a 28 solution, that stuff doesn't spread out like anhydrous gas which expands to many times its size in a gallon form left to right that's why we can run every other row on anhydrous is because when it turns to a gas it spreads out underneath the ground and you can get a lot of coverage with liquid 28 that is it couldn't be more opposite that stuff is going to pretty much go straight down it is not going to expand left or right so if your roots are here and your fer all your fertilizers right here, that's not always ideal placement. Uh, it's only ideal placement because we don't want to cut the roots when we come through with the knife. So we have to go as far away from the plants with this as what we can. So that's where the triple threat allows us to be more versatile. We can run 30% of our total rate through the triple threat. We're orifice here after the split so we get an accurate side to side placement and now we can put fertilizer down right at the roots and some in the center because i do believe and customers have told me that there's a lot of advantages to running a colder through the center mainly by breaking the crust uh, allowing oxygen to get down into those roots maybe after it's rained and we've had some heat crusted it over a little bit uh, our, our grandparents tell the stories about running the cultivators, how that, that corn would green right up instantly. Well, it really had nothing to do with the cultivator. It was the oxygen uh, getting down to the roots when they would break up uh, that crust layer. So I do like that. I also do like fertilizer, some fertilizer to be under the ground, but with the triple threat, we can do all of those things. We can touch every base. We can control what percentage we put through the triple threat versus what percentage we put through over here at the colder. And so if you come here from the front, Cody, you can see the, these triple threat hoses, when you put this unit down, uh, these are going to run out on, uh, they're gonna stretch out to the outside and you're gonna drag this hose right along that row. Same thing with this hose. You're gonna drag it right along this row. The corn will touch it and catch it and it'll come back and place it right where you want it. And then you'll have this colder running right where you want. So that's the triple threat fertilizer option. We can fit it on J&M's, uh, Blue Jets, Fast, Yetter Colders, really anything you would want, uh, but it's a very popular option and for good reason. I think it gives you a lot more options when it comes to placement. It gives you a lot more versatility and you can fight mother nature the best you can with something like the triple threat. So that's what we're doing today because that's the next step as we approach late April. We're gonna catch a nice weather stretch here over the next 14 days. A lot of corn's gonna get pounded in the ground here in the Midwest. So next step, fertilizer placement, and we've got you covered with the triple threat. Thanks for tuning in.